What's happening, Captain? This video is meant to introduce you to light therapy. What is light therapy? Using light to heal the body. So I have several devices on my desk and I wanna show each one so you can get an idea of how this works. The first device is actually in my hands, called Verulite. It was used in a clinical study many years ago to treat coat sores on the lips. You use this device when you have coat sore on your lips three times a day for about three and a half minutes each session. Let me turn it on. Makes an annoying sound, uses infrared light. You can't see it with the eyes. You might be able to see it with the camera here. I'm not sure if it'll show, but it might. So when you have a coat sore on your lips, you hold on your lips for three and a half minutes. I don't actually recommend this device because it's very expensive and it's not that powerful. There are much better devices you use for coat sores, but I wanted to list this because it was used in a clinical study and it's important to look at real data, not make belief. And I think a lot of people, when they think of light therapy, they think it might be silly, but it really does work. The next device I want to talk about are light masks. Do these really work? They do. So different wavelengths have different health benefits. Blue light is traditionally used for acne or bacteria, and, and this really helps a lot with acne. I have horrible acne. When I use this, it gets my face gets so much better. Now, green light can be used for wounds. It has other alternative health benefits. Uh, looking at green light may even reduce migraine headaches according to one study. And so this is red and blue at the same time. This is green and blue at the same time. This is green and red at the same time. These are all three diodes turned on at the same time. It should look white to the camera. And this is red. This is one of the most common wavelengths. Uh, this is for more deep tissue healing, congestion, can even help with allergies. Um, I prefer the flexible mask. They are the ones that work the best in my experience. Now each make model, it's different, but let me put it on here. Uh, these are not that bad to wear. Um, I have a big nose, so sometimes I get a little mark on my nose from wearing it, but it goes away within a few minutes. You obviously can't really eat with it on you can speak um, having a drink is a little tricky you might want to use a straw but these devices really work so if I wake up in the morning I might use blue and red light for 20 minutes and it just helps so much with the skin there are many many studies on this and I think if you can afford one you should get a light mask because it's just very helpful this next device is intranasal so this goes inside the nose. This has been used in studies for decades. It's also been used for COVID recently and it provides many health benefits. This particular device is more so designed for allergies. There's other ones that are designed for mental health, but um, let me just go over this one for allergies. So you can use it 20, 30 minutes a day. You put the probes inside the nostril and it really helps with allergies. I've had allergies my entire life. If I use this in the morning, let's say for 20 minutes, um, I won't have allergies for about, it sometimes it doesn't hold, I won't have allergies for about um, 12 hours. So it really, really, really helps. Um, I'm surprised it's not more common. That's all I can say because the data on this has existed for decades. There's many studies on this. And even if you don't have allergies, I think you should seriously consider this because it just supercharges the nasal area. And it's just, if you're inhaling bad particles, bad pollution, your cells have more energy to fight it off. And this is something I really like. This is something I personally use. This next device is a light therapy watch. This is used to help blood cells in the body. So you wear it on the underside, underside of the wrist and for 30 minute sessions, 60 minute sessions, it's your choice. Um, does it help? Yes. If you wear this while working out, you can tell you'll have more energy during the workout itself. I don't recommend this product because it's very expensive for the amount of red light you get, but it does work. There is that on this. The next device is an LED light panel. This is the most popular product for light therapy. It's also the most pointless product for light therapy. This is a product I never recommend. It's a complete waste of money and the way it's used is very silly. Usually people would have it about six inches away, but when you use light therapy that's not on the skin, directly contact, most of the light just bounces off, reflects off. 
I have no idea how these types of devices got so popular. I have no idea how people recommend this device so often because it's just a waste of money. Don't buy this. The next device are ear probes light therapy. I'm not the biggest fan of these devices, but there is some data that helps with certain types of inflammation. The next device is an LED torch. So you have red, blue, and infrared light on this. This is used for direct contact. You put it right on the skin and you can treat acne, skin inflammation with this device. The next device is a light therapy hat. You use this device to regrow hair. Does it really work? Yes. Many, many, many clinical studies for over 40 years that shows this works. If you're balding, you use this, you're going to grow your hair back. Now, there are many types of devices, many diode arrays, so each some models work better than others, but these do work. This next device is a light therapy knee pad, or you can put it on your shoulder pad. It uses, you can see the diodes there, and it uses massagers um, to help you absorb the light and to massage the area. Um, I don't like this device because the light is, doesn't really exist. You see the red light, but it doesn't actually measure in photons. But the massaging part is pretty cool. I do like that part. This next device is an LED pad. These are so much better than the panels. This is garbage. This actually works. Even though this is much weaker than that, the fact is this is directly this is placed directly on the skin. So when you place it directly on the skin, the skin absorbs the photons. You usually, not usually, but you should use some sort of ramp when you strap it around the body. This works well, great. Like if I was gonna recommend an LED device, this is one of the ones I would recommend. Not the panel, this is nonsense. I don't know why this even exists, but this, you wrap it around the body when you have inflammation for let's say 30 minutes, several times a day, and it does work, it does help. There's red light and these diodes you can't see, these are 850 nanometer diodes, so, these are called far red light, so you can't really see it. You might be able to a little bit on the camera, but not with the human eye so much. I wanted to mention when you're using light therapy, you may have to wear eye protection. You can wear glasses, goggles, or total blackout goggles. It depends on which light the therapy device you're using. Most of the time, you don't actually need eye protection, but if you're using a very strong light, it might be a good idea to wear it. And it'll, your device usually will tell you whether or not you need uh, eye protection or you can ask me and I'll let you know. This next light therapy device is a nail device. You use this to treat the nails. So this device in particular is designed for nail fungus and it does work if you do have nail fungus issues. This next device is a plant grow bulb. It's full spectrum. It will appear yellow or white depending on which make and model you use. You can use it on plants, indoor plants, and they'll grow very well. You can also use it on yourself. Um, plants and humans, we both absorb light. Uh, I really like these for my indoor bonsais. They work great for indoor plants and they're very, very cheap. I bought this bulb for $10 and it's one of the best indoor plant bulbs there is. I believe nowadays it probably goes for around 20 bucks on Amazon. This next device is a laser cone. This will help you regrow hair. The type of laser dial to use here can be very harmful to the eyes. It's like a laser pointer kind of diode, similar. And this is why I'm wearing eye protection. So, if I can, you know, you just brush your hair and you can regrow hair. I do not like these types of diodes because these will just burn your eyes right off if you're not wearing proper protection. And there's other devices you can use that regrow hair that don't, that won't harm your eyes. This next device is a multi-wavelength LED bulb. You can't really see the individual colors, I would imagine, on the camera lens, but you have red, blue, yellow, far red on this uh, one bulb. So these are common. They are, they're very cost effective, but if you use these, I really recommend just put it on the skin, right on the skin. I know some people say here, some people say there, I put it right on the skin. Because if you want to heal the body, you have to be as close as possible. This next device is a dental light. So this particular model has blue light, red light, and UVA light. So this is the same type of device they use at a dentist. And you could open your mouth, 
get whiter teeth, healthier gums. I actually like to use this device on my lips. It really helps me when I have dry lips, and then I always have dry lips. Um, this is a really good device. I like this. This is so much more powerful than the little silly USB devices I've seen on Amazon. I just like, I just like power. That's just how I roll. So um, I like this device. Now, should you get it? Each their own in your own budget. But I just really like this, honestly, for the lips. Um, I probably should use it, you know, on my gums and teeth more often to have healthier, you know, oral hygiene. But I do like this device. This is my favorite device a laser light therapy pad. This is over 10,000 times better than this garbage. This is just trash. I don't know why people even own LED light panels. This stuff is a joke. I will never get tired of trashing this product because this is a joke. This is medical science, real research, real data. This is a work of art. This will penetrate the skin, go deep into your organs and heal the body in real time. Let me give an example. I had liver gallstones. I put this device right over where the gallstones were, where I felt the inflammation, and instantly the discomfort went away. Instantly. And I cannot stress that enough. Had I used LED nonsense, nothing would have happened. I would have been in extreme discomfort and I would have had to go, go to the emergency room. This is what people should own. Medical grade laser light therapy devices. LEDs are just for deep tissue penetration and to treat the organs. It's not that great. Would it work or would it help? Yes. But if you want to heal, you got to go laser. And this is actually cheaper than many of these devices. That's why I find it hilarious because if you want to save money and get better devices, go laser when you're doing deep tissue healing. This next device is a very powerful far red light. I use it for brain therapy. It helps me with my brain fog. It is amazing. So let me turn it on. Um, I'm supposed to wear glasses technically. Um, and if I was using this device, I would point it at my head, various spots for 30 minutes. Next day, brain fog, it's completely gone. This really works. So maybe I do it like this. Usually I just hold it manually. So let me unscrew this because it's a little annoying to have it there. So I might do, I don't know, five minutes like this. Maybe five minutes at the tempos. I like to pull my hair back a little bit and put it right here at the base of the skull and do, you know, five minutes each area. And the next day, my head feels so much better. I mean, it is night and day difference if I'm having long COVID brain fog. This is a very powerful device. I believe it goes for about 2,500 um, retail. Um, this is one of my favorite devices as well. Uh, I don't think people need this, but if you're suffering from mental health issues, um, brain fog, you might need to go more powerful. Uh, most devices do not penetrate the skull. That's why I recommend a product, if you you know had serious issues, a, a product like this. You could also use, if you were in a financial situation where you can't afford the best products, you can still use a device like this. This is $60. Um, it's not as powerful, but it will penetrate the skull. So I'm supposed to wear glasses, but these are these types of lasers are not the most dangerous to your eyes. Um, the laser pointer devices like this, yeah, that's not gonna be the best for your eyes. But a device like this, this uses a different type of dial. So it's not even, technically it's not even a real laser dial. So you should wear glasses. I'm not gonna lie, I, I pretty much, all the products I use, I don't wear glasses or goggles unless it's UV light. But the other ones, no, I, I generally don't wear eye protection. But I would take something like this, put it on the head, same concept, five minutes, five minutes. It's not gonna work as well, but it will work. You just need more sessions and more time. This last device is technically not a light therapy product. This is a negative ion generator or negative ionizer. It emits negative ions from these three emitters and you inhale them and they give you health benefits. When you use light therapy, your body actually produces negative ions. You can also just simply inhale negative ions. If you don't want to use a heavy duty device, you can just wear a negative ionizer. This will provide health benefits in real time while you're wearing it. 
If you believe in negative ionizers, you should believe in light therapy. If you believe in light therapy, you should believe in negative ionizers. I have plenty of future content on light therapy and negative ions. Please let me know if you have any questions.